Greetings guys and gals, it's me your old buddy Mr. Moose and today we are playing a game called Sim Airport. Yep, we're back. You guys thought I'd given up on this one, but no, I just took a break from it. Uh, mainly because there was so much that needed to be worked on that I just didn't feel like showcasing the game in a bad light, you know? Um, like, I don't want to turn anybody off on the game just because there's some bugs in it. And again, I do stress, this is early access and um, it's almost like pre-alpha on this game because uh, there is still so much they need to do with the game, but it is still a really good game. It's a lot of fun, a lot of enjoyment, and I think you would enjoy it. But because of some of the bugs that were in there and some of the changes that were happening and uh, problems that that was even causing, I just decided I'd take a little break from it. Um, but yeah, so we are day five on our previous build. Now this build's gonna go away and I'm gonna show you why in just a second. Because again, I said there are a lot of changes coming out. Just about every week they put out a patch that has major changes to the game uh, to try to fix some of the stuff that's not working. So kudos to the developers who are really busting their buns to get their game right. But at the same time, I think Steam really needs to readdress how they label some of these games. I mean, yes, it's early access, but Steam needs to qualify what is in early access because no two early access games are the same as far as their stage development. Some of them are beta releases, meaning they're just about ready for prime time. They need some people to get in them, play them, stress test them, and find what little bugs that maybe they missed by only a handful of people played them. But then there are games like this that are, I wouldn't even say alpha, I would say pre-alpha because there are so many little problems with this game that um, it needs a lot of work, but it's a really good game and it's a lot of fun to play. So if you're willing to put up with the fact that your game safe may be busted every other day, um, you you'll probably still enjoy playing it but if you're one of these people who wants to get in it and do a continuous game save without losing your progress you're you're probably going to want to wait until the game gets a little bit further along with development and so for me there's been that crossroads it's it's a little bit hard for me to to play the game and do videos on it because I like to do a progressive style of play, but at the same time, I like showcasing the game because it's fun to play. So uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and go with the flow and play. Enough of you guys have asked me to get another video out that I decided I'd sit down today and suffer through some of the bugs and get to where we're at. Now, one of the updates that came out maybe a couple of weeks ago was a really welcome change. They fixed the scheduling UI um to where it's really a lot nicer and a lot more streamlined but in the process it caused a problem if you had a previous game save running as you can see here are all my flights that are available you schedule now according to the gate so i've got a1 large a2 large and you schedule your gate one and your gate two and that's the way the flights run so as you can see though, I've got some flights overlapping each other. Easy enough to fix, right? I just drag this one up here. I drag that one up to there. Those are spread out a little bit. Um, technically that WestJet flight should be in line with that one and the Atlantic International flight should be up there. Uh, and then if we work our way down through here, there's a couple little other hiccups here like this Aerostar should be there. That star flight should be there. And, and the same thing with these two, they should be flip-flopped. No big deal. Easy fix, right? You would think so. But remember, I've told you that any schedule changes you make don't take effect until midnight. And so the changes I just made won't affect us until day six. So therefore, the way the game had everything laid out, that's the way the planes are going to arrive today, which means everywhere there was a plane overlapping another plane, only one plane is going to land. The other plane is going to go, hey, there's not a gate open for me to land at, so I'm going to cruise on and ignore your airport. And that is, um, that's problematic because down the road, that's going to hurt us quite a bit. So, for example, early in the morning, the first flights I had in, the first flight's going to land. It's going to come to gate two because that's where they were stacked up at, right? Gate one's gonna be open. The second flight is gonna look to see if there's a gate available because it's supposed to go to gate two. It's gonna go, nope, 
There's no gate available. Goodbye. Even though one is sitting idle and there's nothing at it. And there's nothing I can do about that. It's an unfortunate side of the game uh, that came with that little patch. The patch, very much welcome. I like the uh, the new UI. I like the way they schedule. I just wish they had it added a way where you could massage it a little bit um, while in play. Like, if a plane's coming in real life, if a plane were coming in and the tower was bringing them in. It was supposed to take them to gate one, but there's a flight on gate one that's engine stalled out or hasn't left or something like that. Uh, the tower would be able to say, uh, you know, you're going in, but you're also, you're going to divert to gate A3 instead of A1. And the plane would do that. Well, we should have that ability in the game to go ahead and say, oh, you're going to gate A, you know, one. That problem's, that look, that problem is never going to exist later on in the game. It was a one-time deal, but it makes this game save virtually unplayable because here's the problem. There were four plane conflicts in there that I'm going to have today. Those four plane conflicts are going to cause me to have four canceled flights. Those canceled flights at midnight are are going to be pulled off of the schedule and I'm going to have to pay $5,000 per flight in cancellation fees, which means that's $20,000 down the drain that I can't use. And that's going to hurt me tremendously. And uh, I have no idea what flights are gonna, are gonna pull, so I can't schedule for them. So the following day, I'm gonna have holes in all four of those slots. So you can see how it's sort of like a snowball. One mistake or one issue kind of gathers up and becomes several issues and it messes up your game save. So basically, I'm ditching this game save. Um, and instead of having you guys suffer through me build, rebuilding this airport, I have suffered through on your behalf and I've gone ahead and rebuilt it. So the two runways that we got two gates and all this stuff, and we're going to move over to our new airport and we'll continue on there. All right. So here we are with the new build and there's a couple of slight little minor changes. Uh, I put in three extra ticket agents. Uh, I just... I kind of got in the ha in the groove when I was building and I forgot that I was building this to catch up to the other build and I got to this, you know, day four and I was like, oh, I'm going to put some more ticket booths in there because I need more ticket agents. And um, so, yeah, I put uh, three more ticket agents in, two more ticketing kiosk in. Um, and then I've made a slight adjustment to the security zone. I'll go over that for you in just a second. Uh, but for the most part, the airport is just about the way it was uh, when we left off. Our schedule for flights today, uh, we've got pretty decent spread on these. I'm going to go over a couple of things as well with you that have changed over the game, but that just basically gets you to where we're at at four o'clock in the morning on day five. And uh, we've got a little bit more money than we had on the previous game save. Uh, we're at $2,795. We have maxed out our loan so that we can put an air a traffic control tower in and ATC, I mean, uh, ILS. So yeah, we're just basically going to move on now at this point. Uh, research wise, I don't have pricing. One of the reasons I got a little bit different money, I don't have pricing done, but I do have my operations manager. Uh, I've got that done, so I just need to build him an office today and get that taken care of. And then we're just going to watch flights because this is going to be my first day on this game save with multiple uh, flights running. So we'll just kind of keep an eye on the schedule and go over that. Now, some things have changed with the aircraft as well as far as how they perform within the game. If you remember before, I was doing a 30 minute window in between flights and that seemed to be working out with for me a little bit, you know, pretty good. However, s lately in the game, the flights hadn't been doing as well with um, with their timings. The like the 707s and the 737s, anything the Embraers, anything that's got under 150 passengers or even 180 passengers, 
they've been pretty much keeping their time frame of about a two hour window. When you start getting into the seven six sevens, the triple sevens, they're taking a lot longer to load up than their normal window. So one of the things I've done in scheduling is I've tried to go to a 45 minute window wherever there is a seven six seven and a 30 minute window on your 707, 737, Embraer's, the smaller aircraft. So I'm trying to give myself a little bit of a cushion there to make sure that on these 767s they get out on time but i'm being very careful to watch the the clock and make sure even if they're not fully loaded they leave on time because a delay you know can cost you if you've got another airplane that is uh, circling overhead so we have to make sure that the seven the 767 gets out no later than 645 and the WestJet needs to get out no later than uh you know 645 650 shouldn't be an issue this one should get out with no problems this is my biggest concern is making sure that this one gets out on time um so yeah the scheduling big issue when you get into the triple sevens they're almost a they're almost a three hour window Hemi was playing the other night and getting so frustrated because he was using the large gates with the big aircraft and he was giving them like a four hour window and he still wasn't able to get all the passengers um to the to the um to the plane and part of the reason is things like this if you look over here outside the door like this dude's just standing here if i send him home the rest of the passengers should go ahead and go in the door because i don't know they're like blown away by this newfangled invention called the sliding glass door oh, this is amazing just look at it honey it moves without us touching it um but anyways yeah so we've you had some issues with that um otherwise my traffic getting through security has been okay but i think i want to go ahead and add in one more id check and we'll get that in here oh come on dude move out of the way oh it did take the other thing i've done is i've adjusted security a little bit I moved the metal detectors past the baggage claim. Now, that's not the way it is in real life. I know that. I know you put your stuff on the baggage claim, you go through the metal detector, you come out, you glide your stuff off the baggage claim, and you move on. But because of the way the pathing of the AI is in this game, I have gone ahead and moved the metal detectors after the baggage claim. That way, the people walk through the baggage claim, then walk through the metal detector, and then they go out here, and they're on their way. Otherwise, they go through the baggage claim, then walk backwards and go through the metal detector sector and it just didn't work it also gives me a little bit more room i'm a, i have the ability to put just a little bit more equipment in here and one of those pieces of equipment i'm going to put in is one more metal detector so let's go ahead and rotate that and put that there and we should have plenty of metal detectors in place all right so folks are doing their thing they're getting on this plane it's boarding but it is not going to be fully boarded in time it is 640 it has got to go so we're going to go ahead and break the deadlock on that and send it on even though it was 40 passengers light i can't i can't do it it's 645 it needs to be away from the gate so the next plane starts its uh starts its approach to the runway so we'll look at how passengers are getting through the airport and see if we can figure out a way to um to get that but this plane should be on final approach now it is and that's good news what spot was that one in it was scheduled in the yeah it's scheduled on one all right so and then our WestJet got out on time so we didn't have any problems with it uh, leaving all right so we got security up here working now i need one more security guard to staff that metal or that baggage thing i don't think you need to have a security guard on every one of these metal detectors so i'm not doing it i'm not going to put one on there until it becomes an issue all right so people are moving through the airport looking good Ticketing's not an issue. Uh, we need to assign this one to a queue. So let's make a queue for it. Oops, that's not the queue I want. Pause the game, please. 
<laughs> that was kind of a wicked cue, wasn't it? That's a bit of a bit of a weird snake you got going there, Moosey. All right, so we'll get that cue going, and then we'll get this lady assigned to. Uh, the lag is real suddenly. It really is having a hard time keeping up lately. I, when you go in to do these uh, assignments, it really is sort of buggy. All right, so with that done, she's good. We're good. Let's uh, keep going. So play on. Yeah, I'm not worried about the sink. Floor's good. The next thing we do is we need to start getting the COO's office in. So as soon as we get a little bit of money in, we're going to go ahead and build an office for the COO. And it needs to be a four by three foundation. And as soon as we get a little bit of money from the flight that just came in, we should be able to afford to do it. $8,000 to build that little thing. All right, so maybe we don't have enough money to get his office in there yet. We'll wait. We'll be patient. May have to run through a little bit more time before I even put the operations office in. All right, so let's uh, let's go through. What else has been added in the game? So there's some new tools that you can use in the game. They've added in a planning menu, which is really pretty neat. Uh, you basically have some color tools and taxiway menu that allows you to come in here and pre-plan what you want to do with the airport, which is a pretty great idea in my book because. We need that ability to be able to kind of scope things out and get a lay of the land, see what you want to do. Like, you know, I'm toying with the idea of putting in a large gate here. I'd like to do that. But at the same time, I don't know that I wouldn't mind just putting one more of these in here. But I technically, I really need that big, huge, huge one. But let's say we could do a taxiway there, a taxiway there. Um, and then theoretically... Now, I did change the size. By the way, I changed the size of the map when I laid out this time just from from a large to an extra large so we'd have as much room as possible. Um, but I'm thinking maybe we bring this. Hmm. How to do this? We could put another to do. to think about how one do it i don't know that's why layout tools are great you can come in here you can lay things out in a way that you want i'd love to get a second runway in uh this way and then a two north south runways in as well so um the way they set you up in this they they really don't think about things like that because in order i'd have to put the runway here or i'd actually i had to put it right here i'd have to put it right here and then have my taxiway could put the t uh no yeah i'd have to put it here then the taxiway would have to be down here I and mean, i had to actually juke everything down a little bit in order to make that work or i could put the runway way over here I put it right here or something like that anyways that gives us an idea of our runway length and then if we came in we put that large gate in then we would have to come and we have to have our um, we'd have to have this area be down here extended and by 60 I guess is what we would want because I think those are 30 wide we did that 10 by 60 and let's just look the gate oh no the extra large gate uh, it would go in there like so you'd be able to get one Two have been there, yeah, because they're 30 wide. So that would be that. So we'd have to have our. Our building built out a little bit down like that. And then we could come down here. We'll just go ahead and mock this up as well as an area that would get built in. That would end up being building. And then this down here, I really want to. I really eventually want baggage to be way down here. Oh. 
I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll, you know, I don't really want to make an awkward um, concourse here. I really don't want to. I really like to have it all be one width, but it looks like I'm going to have to make some awkward adjustments here in order to get an extra large gate down here in the beginning. It'd be great. Just build this out, put a whole bunch of large gates here, build the building down a little bit, and then put at the end of it over here, put your extra large gates down here coming down and then have some extra large gates down in this area or whatever. There's still work to do on this. And then there's also, we could build this up here. We could actually have the entrance of the building be way up here, change ticketing to be way up here. And then we have everybody go through security around in this area and then come through here. And eh, there's a lot of different ways to do it. All right, so where are we at? $10,000. That should be enough to go ahead and build the office. So let's get our foundation in. And I'm going to go three by four. And again, that's going to build walls all there. If I didn't want, if I incur, if I, uh, if I included this wall here, it would take this wall down. So this, I don't want it to do that. So I start in here. So it leaves this wall up and it'll build into here. I'll have to remove a bunch of walls, but I don't break the security of the off of the airport uh, by exposing the outside to the inside by opening this wall up by uh, putting it in here. So it'll build double up the walls and everything, but that way I can keep the airport functioning. If you break and you put a void between anywhere in the airport and the airfield where you lose security, you will shut the airport down. It will actually stop working. So you don't want to ever do that. So we'll wait for our construction workers to mosey on over there and start doing their work. And yeah, we'll watch our aircraft do their thing. Check on our schedule where we're at. We two airport airplanes at the gate right now uh let's see one leaving at 11 15 one leaving at 11 30 our next incoming flight is 11 45 so we have to make sure that this plane which is 737 it should uh it should clear out of the airport rather quickly um it should leave by about 11 30 and we should be okay we usually don't ever have any problems with that but we want to make sure it's out of here by 11 44 and it's only got 19 minutes left, so it's going to be just fine. It's going to clear by 1130. I've been keeping a piece of paper next to me, and this is a little tip I give for you guys. Watch your flights. When you schedule them, start watching your flights and keep a little picture, uh, piece of paper next to you. And if you have room to snug up your schedule a little bit, like write down the flight number or the time of the flight, like gate one, seven o'clock and then write down what time it actually took off and left so this flight left at 11 20 so i know that it's um it's good i don't have any real issues with it that part of the schedule's good and then i could look at the schedule and go okay well uh, the afford air 7 uh, 737 that came in at 9 15. i can look at the schedule and say okay well it left you know just in time so if i needed to squeeze up the schedule a little bit i might be able to but i'll just leave it at 11:45, and i shouldn't have any issues but if i had allocated even more time then i could go in and snug that schedule up just a little bit more like this plane got out of here the 737 it got out in plenty of time um you know, I could have had this plane land at noon. I'd rather not, though. I'd rather have it um, do its thing down the road. All right, so this guy is on the ground and taxiing. This guy's in route. So I try not to have, by leaving that gap in there of 30 minutes or so, I'm, I'm making sure that the planes have time to land and then do their taxiway. Here's another issue we've been having. Where the planes just get stuck and this is another pain in the rear end 
Um, come on, break the deadlock. What is he doing? Ah, the joys of AI. There it goes. You know, and again, I've had game saves where the plane sat there stuck and never moved and destroyed the game save. I've probably gone through 50 game saves uh, in practice in, or in just, you know, playing the game um, versus, you know, recording the game. I've probably gone through 50 game saves and, and it, it, it can be quite annoying. But again, I keep in mind it is early access and the amount of work that the guys are putting in on the game is crazy. And if you read the forums and and you read what they've got coming up for the game and I think they're doing a good job with it. So I don't I don't feel bad about it. If they weren't doing anything, then you'd kind of be like, uh, come on now. All right, so this guy's stuck in a little honeycomb here. So now, see how it it didn't build, it didn't break any walls. So then I can come in here, clear out these interior walls, and clear out a hole there for a door, and that will give me the ability to make that into a little office. What I don't understand is why the little dude in the room doesn't do the work that I just assigned. He, <laughs> yeah. All right, so that one came in. And, oh no, it's just going to leave. Oh, uh, it's because I, I hit the brake deadlock. It unloaded and then just left. And all these people are going to scream now. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Group R. Now, I guess he's going to actually take off before he, everybody goes R. Yeah, I mean, that's the problem with deadlocks and in the game. All these people are now going to go. Ah, oh, because they're going to realize their plane just left and didn't board them. Yeah, that's not good. He's also didn't get paid for all of them being on the airplane. Bummer. Let's buy some stuff. All right, we need a desk. Yep. Rotate, rotate, rotate. And we need a chair. Rotate. Rotate, rotate. There we go. And we sure could use some carpet in there. But let's zone this as an office first. There we go. Let's throw some carpet down in here. Uh, build carpet. Yep. If it'll let me carpet while that stuff's being built. Nope. There they go. Ah. There's still an airplane. It landed and it didn't even let us on. What kind of airport is this, anyways? I'll never come back here. I'll sue you guys. You bunch of losers. Oh, you wait till the town council hears my brother-in-law is on the town council and I'm going to tell him about y'all. Y'all are going to get your permit pulled. I'm going to get you shot down. I'm calling the FAA. You can hear all of it. You know what I'm talking about. Well, that was sort of a bum deal there, but I, you know, maybe I could have waited another couple of seconds before hitting the break, you know, the deadlock, but, um, uh yeah, I, fe I felt like I was uh I felt like I was gonna lose there. But hey, we got another flight coming in, so all is good. I don't like any flight was coming in. Something's not right if I got a plane coming in already. Huh. All right, put a little carpet in there. Put a little floor there and then we need a door wonder how long that plane had been sitting there that's the next question rotate set daughter in place all right we're about ready to put a coo in the office 
gonna cost us some money, but walk by pending construction. Oh, come on, he can't go in his office until we get carpet in. All right, there's our 767 that just came to the gate. We're all for the air. Well, I look at it this way. The Aerostar landed and kept the schedule. It just didn't depart with any passengers on there. And hopefully I won't get penalized for that and I won't lose the contract with them. Um, so yeah, so maybe we'll keep our schedule full. All will be good. It needs to be good. There's a lot of people in there. But so far, the things I'm looking at, ticketing is moving good and security is moving good the metal detectors we're getting through so at this point really it's just making sure that people get on the planes and the planes behave out on the taxiways and that's that's been an issue people are having and um like planes not making it to the runway or planes colliding into each other and not pathing well on the taxiways and things like that all that will get worked out pathing issues will all get worked out down the road so um for the most part you know those little things i don't sweat because i know that the developers are working on it and they'll get those kinds of things done so but again just keep keep in mind it is early access so that's that's what you have to do all right so, I am basically waiting for the carpet to be finished in here, which I think it might be. Can we put him in place? Or her, or whoever? Alright, we have an operations officer. That means now we can go to research, and we can research road building. Locked? Why is it locked? The COO has an office. Try this again. Office. Research. Road building. Locked. COO must have an office to do research. Ah, now we have a COO office. Lag. There's a lot of lag in the game for some reason. I don't know why. Road building. 16,000. Oh, I guess we'll research pricing so that we can raise ticket rates because um, we got to make some more money. All right, let's speed up a little bit here. Get things going. Let's check on our departure times. 16.30 is when this one's got to roll. It's got to be out no later than 17. Well, let's get going. Come on. Four o'clock afternoon flights. Got to get out of here. All right, so we're coming up on 16.30. Still got 42 people and thinks it needs 47 more minutes to load. That ain't happening, buddy, bro. That ain't happening. Cruising out of here in 10 minutes. How many passengers you got? This is killing me. See what I mean? I mean, the passengers were here. They were in line. There's no reason for them not to get loaded. And, and what, I got to have four ticket ag or gate agents up there? Come on, and this is just a 767. Could you imagine if it was a 747? How bad it would be? All right, so two, one, break the deadlock. And 20 people don't get on. Y'all should have moved faster. Less time at the vending machine, more time at the standing in line. All right, so if I look at that flight at four o'clock on gate one, is that one here? I needed a little bit more time for it to load up. If I push that flight back that way, No, that ain't gonna work. Those are gonna be tight anyways. Maybe I can move this one forward a little bit. Seven six seven, what was this? That was seven six seven, seven six seven, seven oh sevens. How many 
Ah, we got a bunch of 767s in a row. I need to make some movements for tomorrow's schedule. Let's move this one down, put that one up, and then move this one forward. That's 737, that'll get out with no time, but that'll get out plenty of time. That'll give a little bit more time for that plane to load. That'll help me out a little bit. All right, and then that's a 707. It doesn't need nearly as much time. That's a 70, oh, the 767 there, 737. Let's move. Oh, we got plenty of room down here. Let's move this one down, move this one up. Then that way we can give a little bit more room. 707 should be able to load pretty quick. It's only 180, but we'll give it 45 minutes. And then we'll push this flight 45 minutes. And then that. That should give it that should be plenty for us to make sure that we're maxed out and we don't have any more little issues like that. And then we can move that Juno flight forward. It's uh 140s and 140s. They could 30 minutes apart. And then we can bring that one and maybe maybe leave that one right there. That should be fine. Alright, so a little massaging on the schedule to make sure things work out a little bit better. That'll help us out a little bit. 767, 737. I think we're all right. I think we're all right. All right, so our COO is in and we've got a little bit of cash. We should research um, pricing. Let's do that next. I would really like to work out here because once we we're all right now with two gates but when we go to a third gate especially with a larger aircraft we're going to need to make sure that the buses are getting through faster so that the passengers are getting into the facility quicker i'd actually like to extend the facility and put a couple more doors in or another at least another entrance in because again they're getting they're just moronic here at the front door they can't figure out how to go through that newfangled device there and it's it's killing us. And then some of these others just kind of loiter out here in the yard. So we probably want to spend a little bit of time working on the exterior at some point, maybe putting down uh, some sidewalks or something, you know, um, you know, put a little sidewalk in, maybe put in some potted plants, things like that to spruce up the outside a little bit, help it out a little bit, all that good stuff. All right, checking our schedule. Let's see, we're at the gate. We got to be out of here by 1900 on the 707, and the 767 has to be out of here at 1930. So this one's got to roll. Why are we? Why are we so slow loading? You got to be out of here in 15 minutes. You're gonna make it though. You're gonna be all right. You got seven minutes left. This one should be all right. I, I won't even have to touch this one. It'll be all right. Seven, the seven six seven. I shouldn't have to worry about either. And there we go. Rolling away. As far as improvements on the structure here, I really don't know, you know, much more to do. I, I, I probably could put in another baggage, baggage, and probably another uh, check-in desk. Like I'd like to put in one check-in desk that just does nothing but checks all these queues and pulls people from all of them. All right. So far, we got through that day without any problems. We don't have to do a whole lot until we start really, as far as that goes, until we start really adding another gate in. And that's going to take accumulating cash. So what I may do is, at the end of this video, I may run through a couple of day cycles just to build up some cash uh, so that we can go with the next stage of uh, work here, which is going to be building out this so that we can put another gate in. 
at some point we want to put in a kitchen and a cafe and all that you know some some restaurant for some food we're going to need when we get ready to put in another gate uh, we're probably going to need to get another restroom in because if we look we're still our bladder thing is 94 percent so we're borderline on needing some restaurant restrooms anyways if we add another gate i'm sure we need to add another set of restrooms in so uh, we definitely want to consider getting restrooms added in making sure people got places to go potty right uh what else i think that's it for now I, you know it's just basically running through here and making sure our schedule works and then we could you know like i said we could put some potted plants in things like that but it really is it really is at this point about needing to just run some time through That plane left in time for this one to land. Excellent. It needed to leave at 1930. It actually left just about 2100, which was fine because this one came in. Ooh, did this one come in late? Hmm, I need to check on that. I should have paid more attention. All right, so uh the 767 is departing ah see he's late i do need to pay a little bit more attention but we're on final with our final plane of the day it's gonna be good and we get paid How do we extend over here is a real problem for me. And that's one of those things that I keep trying to figure out. And really, I think the only way to do it is to run the airport for three or four days and build up the cash because we're, we're already a hundred thousand dollars in to the bank. So, um, you know, we can raise prices. That's going to be good for us to do. Uh, and that'll get us more money, which will raise prices as soon as uh, as soon as our CFO learns that, which will be somewhere in the middle of the next day, probably. So we'll raise our prices up. When I raise prices up, though, I'm going to lose a few airlines, uh, and I'll have to fill in those. So that's another day of of massaging to get that fixed. Um, but then it's just going to be a matter of running the airport for a couple of days and getting. The cash flow coming in let's check how much uh, dumpster I guess we've already emptied the dumpster so oh, well could have been too bad they got them emptied pretty quick the airports really nice and clean I like that too that's another issue I was having with previous game saves post some of the updates remember in my other video I said something about the trash in the last game say that i had if we had to run it the airport by the end of the day uh with 10 janitors would have looked like post-apocalyptic new york i mean like all the all the garbage cans exploded and trash was everywhere it was just horrible and i could not keep the place clean here with this game say with only four janitors the whole place is clean and I don't have any issues so there was something and of course we had the whole debacle with the garbage zone and not being able to put dumpsters down with all without the uh, the janitors all you know going Blair Witch on me and staring in the corner so I don't know maybe maybe there was a glitch and it, it carried over through a previous game save so starting over is probably a really good idea it was just a pain to do and I hate having to do it every couple of days, but it's something that uh, something that we manage. All right, so we got our schedule for today rolling. Let's look at the status, make sure nobody canceled on us today. In route, scheduled, scheduled, scheduled. Everybody looks good. We're good. So we just run a whole lot of people through. And again, look, we're not having problems with people getting through ticketing. 
people aren't getting holed up in security. So our layout so far is pretty darn good. I if a plane is late loading, I it's got to be right here, and it's got to be gate agents. And I can't figure for the life of me how to get more people through the gates faster, other than add more gate agents. But how many times have you been to an airport and seen more than a couple of gate agents working? I haven't. But let's like verify. She's assigned to here. This is first class. She's also assigned to here for coach. And then this agent here. Do to do this desk. Oh, this desk is messed up. Should not be assigned to first class. It should only be assigned to coach. There we go. Maybe that'll help get them through a little bit faster. And then over here, this one is assigned to both. Why is my staff member not behind the desk? Kind of off to an angle. But yeah, that one is assigned to both. And then this one should be assigned to just there. Okay. Well, that's good. Both of those are now set up right. So yeah, we should be getting the people onto the aircraft really quick. And this plane should be leaving. It should be leaving at 6 a.m. But see, it shows it has 66 more minutes to board. Something just isn't right in that. Something's not timing out right. Because that plane arrived on time, but yet it's telling me that it needs more time to board. I can't give it to it either. I may have to start adjusting my schedule for what is happening on here, not what the computer tells me is allowed. All right, so got to be out of here by 1630. Well, 1644 is where it's got to be out of here by. Is it going to make that? It looks like it could probably make that. See, like I said, the 707s, they're loading out and they're flying off on schedule as they should. He was supposed to depart at 1630. He's departing at 1630. I don't have problems with the 707s, the 737s, the Embraers, um, you know, the Beechcrafts, the Dash 8s. The small planes you don't have a problem with. It's it's the 767s. But look, there's nobody really standing in line here. I mean, all the people should have been gotten on the plane. So, I don't know, 6.43, the plane's leaving. And if you didn't get on, you didn't get on. You're just too slow. But I got to clear out so that I can get more planes in there. Got to keep the schedule, right? How to keep the schedule. And the plane that landed should have been our 645 arrow time, 707. Nope, uh, our 7 o'clock flight landed early. See, here's that failed to reserve runway. If you've got too much congestion on the runway, doesn't land it looks the basically is a plane is coming in the first thing it does is it checks to see if it's got a, a gate to land at or to come to and then it checks to see if the runway is clear and if the run if something's not clear it, it gets delayed so he's 30 minutes behind schedule now but I ain't gonna let him I ain't gonna let him be late I'll force him to leave on time because that's the way you got to be when you're running an airport, right? All right, 15,000. That's good. How are we doing on our research for pricing? 66%. We're going to have 16,000 to research the road building. And I think I'm just going to let it run and get that. And then let it research it. Because um, I need to be able to build roads. Because what I want to do out in the front, I want to have a road coming in. 
and then we want to branch off and have a, a dedicated drop-off area tie back into with the main artery a dedicated area for pickups drop back off into the main artery and then also have an area where the deliveries and the and the garbage guys can pull off and do their thing as well so that's that's my super game plan for that Somehow we got to fix this. This is crazy. They won't get through the front door. Do I need to make the drop off area way down here so that the stupid people can't, you know, get pinched up right there? I mean, that's just silly. Zones, none. Make sure that bus gets by before I do this. Once it passes, I should be able to cut off that area of the drop off zone. No. All right, so next time he comes in, he won't go, he won't stop way up there. All right, schedule. Next incoming flight is at 1915 or 915, excuse me. Which means our arrow time that was late has to leave by 914. We'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I think by lowering that drop zone that should alleviate all those people coming in from a really way crazy angle. They should be able to get in better. All right. I don't know. Some of them went way up here in the middle of nowhere. And then the rest of them come down here and can't get in because they're stupid. Really? I mean, that's that's something the devs got to work on. And those little things will cause your plane to be late. Oh, look. Even though he came in on late, he left on time. How about that? How about that? That's pretty nice. All right. Oh, got our incoming flight. That one actually came in early. Final approach was set to be here at 915. It's coming in early. I like that. I like that. I like it when the planes get here early. Not too early, but early enough. I like it when they're here at least, you know, right when they say they're going to be here so they don't fall behind. All right, 16,000. We should be able to research road building. Road building is queued for research. Excellent. All right, what else can we do? I think that's it, I really do. I think uh, basically at this point, we let it roll. Uh, as soon as I get pricing done, then we'll change the prices a little bit. I think I'm gonna raise the rate on the tickets by $10. I was talking to Hemi and um, you know, like I've been real skittish about changing the prices up. I went up five bucks and I went up a um, hundred bucks on the, on the runway usage and five bucks on the terminal usage and I lost like three airlines four airlines Hemi said he cranked his up like 20 bucks like he raised the price up 20 bucks and raised his uh, runway fees up by five like two three hundred bucks and he didn't lose a single airlines I don't get it uh, I was like really uh, I can't keep them I don't know maybe if I run a few more days Maybe I add in a few more plants and get airline interest up higher than 56%. Maybe I can raise my price on them without them leaving. But anyways, thanks for watching today, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this video and this look at Selma Airport. If you enjoyed it, make sure you smack that like button for me. Share the video with your friends. 
And of course, as always, if you enjoyed the content and you haven't yet done it, subscribe to the channel. I try to do new videos each and every day. I'm trying to get back in the habit of doing a couple of videos a day. So uh, today's going to be my first shot at getting that done. Hopefully I, I get it achieved. And uh, which will give me the ability to do like some of the farming stuff and some of the other stuff and then some of the more obscure games as well. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, if you do, smack that like button, leave me a comment. And uh, if you haven't already, as I've always say, uh, if you visit my Gawkbox account, if you want to support the channel, check out Gawkbox and uh, the link is down below. You can... Uh, you can give a sponsored tip there uh, just by watching a video or by downloading a little app for your phone and uh, I get a little tip and you don't have to pay anything for it so that's kind of nice uh, you can tip the channel without having to spend any of your money so uh, tips are always greatly appreciated uh, they are not mandatory though so all I ask is you come back tomorrow and uh, check out another video until then stay safe have yourself a great day everybody I will see you soon God bless bye bye